first year I am your physics teacher. Today on this lesson we will see about logic gates, logic gates, the basic elements in electronics or the basic points how we can construct or made a semiconductor device, for example integ integrated circuits. Now logic gates are a tiny silicon chips, most of them are produced from silicon on which each combined of transistors and resistors. They typically have two inputs and one output. And there is one logic gate which have one output, but the other are the other have what? Two inputs. But one logic gate have one input that is the not gate. We will see next. What happens to the output determined by the situation those inputs? And we have five logic gates actually they are not five it's three the not gate the end gate and the or gate the NAND and the nor gates are the inverse of end and or gate or gate let us see each of them one by one when we start from the not gate as i said not gates have one one input and one output that means it has what a single input and a single Outputs always in opposite in opposite. That means if the input is One the output is zero and if the input is zero the output is one and zero stands for off and One stands for on that means there is there is current no current if it is zero no current if it is one there is what? Current. It indicates 0 and 1 indicate, indicates the flow of current. If it is 1, there is a flow of current. If it is 0, there is no current. There is no current. Therefore, a 0 at an input means a 1 at an output for the not gate because it's the opposite of the input. The output result is always the opposite of the input for not gates and the vice versa. If it is 0, it's 1. If it is 1, it's 0. And the symbol for this not gate is in a circuit. We can symbolize such a like. The symbol somehow is similar with diodes, but it does it, it don't have a line at this point and a hole on diode on a diode. Let us see the truth table. The truth table. If it is zero, zero means if there is no current in the output in the input the output will be one there is a current it indicates that if it is zero one if it is one it's one zero and the second one is end gate end gates has two inputs and one output and like two switch in series they are like through two switches in series and gives true only when the two inputs are what true that means when we say true it is one if the two inputs are what one otherwise false or zero zero that means it allows current in or we have current in the output if both inputs are what one or if there is a current in both inputs in both inputs the circuit diagram for end gate is such a like and if you see the truth table always to draw the number of zeros and ones in the inputs we must use to the power of n to the power of n if the inputs are to the power of n minus one if the inputs are one we can substitute in the place of n one if the input is two we can put two on the no it's only to the power of N. We use to the power of n. Here, for example, we have two inputs. Therefore, to the power of two, it becomes what? Four. When we, we write a number of zeros and ones vertically, how many? Four. And when we draw or when we write zeros and ones, in if it is four, first you must write half of zeros. Means half of four is two. Therefore, two zeros and two ones. In the next input, you you must divide the number of inputs of zeros on the first input 
since it is 2, half of 2 is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And here, as we said, we have true or 1 in the output if both inputs are part 1. Therefore, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. But here, both are what? 1, 1. This indicates in both inputs there is what? A flow of current. Because of this, the output is 1. The output is 1. And the third one is the NAND gate, that is the inverse of end gate. In the end gate, we have we have one in the output if both inputs are what? One. But in the NAND gate, the reverse, we have zero or we don't have current if both inputs are what? One. Therefore, this NAND gate have two inputs, A and B, and the output, and the output, the little the little, the little circle at the bottom indicate that each value is reversed, reversed, and its end gates with the output inverted, the output inverted, that means the inverse of end gate, give force only if the two inputs are what? True. That means we have zero if both inputs are what? One. But in the end gate, we have one if both inputs are what? One. That is the inverse of the end gate the end gate and the symbol for NAND gate is such a like end gate does not have this hole in the output but if it is NAND gate you can differentiate end and end NAND by this hole the, the other the other diagram structure is similar with end gate but they are different by this hole this hole let us see the truth table when we see the truth table here, as we said, we have only one. We have one only if both inputs are what? False or zero. Therefore, zero, zero gives us one. Zero, one, 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 zero, one. But if it is one, one, it's what? Zero. We can get zero if both inputs are one. Therefore, we have only one, zero. And this result is the inverse of what? End gate. End gate. And the third one, no, the fourth one is the OR gate. It has two inputs and one output, and like two switch in parallel, and it gives false or zero if the two inputs are what? Zero. Otherwise, we have what? One. That means if one of the two input is one, the output is one. But if both inputs are zero, the output is zero. The output is zero. And the circuit diagram for OR gate is such a like. And for NOR gate, we can add a hole on this point. We will see next. And let us see the truth table. As we said, we have what? False or zero if both inputs are what? Zero. Therefore, zero, zero gives us zero if one of the two inputs are one the output result is one as you see all the output results below is one because one of the two is one of the two input is one and let us see the last logic gate the nor gate in the nor gate it has two inputs and one output and the little circle output indicates the each value of the reversal of or gate and it has this what or gate which the output is inverted that means it's the inverse of or gate and it's true we can have one if both inputs are what zero otherwise the whole result is zero the whole result is zero and the symbol for nor gate is as you see here it has what a hole but if it if this hole is cancelled it's not nor gate it's what or gate or gate let us see the truth table as you see, we have one in the output if both are what? Zero. Therefore, in the first zero, zero, we have one. But if it is one of the two is one, the output result is what? Zero. Zero. And this result is the inverse of what? Or gate. The inverse of or gate. And let us summarize this truth table. The four truth table. We have two inputs here input A and input B, input A and input B, and we have the four logic gates. In end gate, first, 
in end gates we have an output of 1 if both inputs are what 1 therefore here we have 1 1 1 in the other the output is what 0 and the NAND gate is the inverse of what end gate if it is 1 1 it's what 0 and the other is 1 since it is the inverse and in the OR gates we have 0 if both inputs are what 0 therefore both inputs are 0 in the first and in the other the both the all inputs are 1 because one of the two is 1 and NOR gates are the inverse of what OR gates in the OR gates in the OR gate we have 0 when both are 0 and the other is 1 but NOR gates is the inverse of OR gate that means we have 1 if both inputs are 0 and the other is 0 if one of the two inputs is 1 one of the two inputs is 1 the other thing is combination of logic gates we can combine two or more logic gates to increase the range of control tasks that can be performed for example if there are three inputs we can use what to the power of three and this to the power of three is eight because to get the number of inputs or the number of drawn combination of lines that means the number of zeros and ones we must use to the power of n and if the, the n is the number of inputs if the number of inputs is three to the power of three it's what eight and at the, an example consider the arrangement shown below how does it we have let us see here we have three logic gates combined here we have how many inputs one two three inputs three inputs and these three inputs since it is three to the power of three it becomes what eight we must draw a number of zeros and ones how many eight and first we draw the truth table for this combination here we have how many number of zeros and ones one two three four five six seven eight therefore since it is eight in the first input in the first input among these eight we must first write four zero and four one therefore here four zeros and four ones and after that you must divide the number of zeros and four divided to two it's what two therefore in the second input two zero and two one therefore two zero two one two zeros two ones and also since here two two we can divide two two one two 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 it becomes what one therefore in the second in the third we must write what zero one zero one zero one zero one and so on and let us do this point p this is point p point p is the end gate output and the inputs are what a and b in the end gate as you know we have an output of what one if both inputs are one if both inputs are one therefore the inputs are a and b we can use a and b and in the first input both are zero in the second both are zero in the third both are zero in the fourth no in the third one of the two is zero in the fourth one of the two is zero in the fifth in the sixth also one of the two zero therefore to have a result of one both must be one therefore in the in these six values one of the two is zero therefore our output is also zero as you see all is zero and in the seventh and eighth result both are one one therefore we have one one result one one result and point q point q is the or gate the or gate in the or gate it has an input of what b and c you must use this b and c b and c for point p the output the inputs are a and b therefore we use a and b as an input as an input therefore but point q is the output of what or gate we must use the property of or gate as an output and here a and b in the first both are zero always in the or gates we have zero if both inputs are zero therefore in the first both are zero therefore we have zero but in the second one of the two is one here also one of the two is one here also one of the two is one therefore these three results are what one one but 
in the in the six both are what zero in the fifth therefore our result is zero and on the other three one of the two is one and lastly both are one therefore the result is one one because in the or gate this one is or gate and this one is end gate in the or gate we have zero when both are zero both are zero and point no output the final output is this one for this final output the inputs are what point p and q here this point is an input and this point is also an input therefore our inputs are what p and q for the nor gate and in, non, in the nor gate we have one if both inputs are what zero that means the inverse of or gate therefore we must use P and Q as an input for the final outputs. And here, 0, 0, we have 1 because it's NOR gate. In the NOR gate, we have 1 if both inputs are what? 0. But in the other, 0, 0, 0, but here, 1, 1, 1. Therefore, 1 of the 2 is 1. Therefore, our result is what? 0. Because we have 1 if both inputs are 0. Here, we have both inputs are 0. We have what? 1. But in the other 3, 1 of the 2 is one. Therefore, our output is zero. This is the final output for this combination. For this combination, some is of logic gates. Logic gates have so many use. Among these, the first one is a simple, a simple burglar alarm, uh, burglar alarm, and the other thing is thermostat for a hot, a hotter, a hot water tank, and a security log get behind a counter at the bank and an out automatic plant water air and also we use for integrated circuits when we say integrated circuits sometimes we name as IC in a circuits and this is some examples of logic gates this is all about today until next time have a nice time